This inverter can detect excess energy being injected into the grid from any outlet on our house, regardless of which inverter or microinverter is generating, and instead of letting that energy go to waste or to sell it at a really low price, it redirects to charge the battery. And then when our home needs power, it will automatically discharge from the battery and feed in the house which is awesome. This is the D6K. I will leave a link down below with the technical specifications, prices, availability, some videos as well, more technical than this one right over here. But this was the best solution I found to add a battery to any existing solar panel without any hybrid inverter, which is very common, at least here where I live. We can do an installation with microinverters or grid inverters, and we don't want to use batteries, especially for those that did install systems back in 2019, like myself, where batteries were really expensive. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated it and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. So if you purchased a hybrid inverter back then, right now to add a battery is easy. But if you didn't, this is probably one of the best solutions on the market. This inverter has several functions, one of which is the Gen port that we can connect solar panels that have already passed through another inverter or microinverter, and then the day will manage charging and discharging. But in my particular case, I'm using the AC coupling mode, which is a lot better in my opinion. So instead of connecting the solar generation directly on the D inverter, it will simply measure the excess energy being injected into the grid and it will redirect to the battery, which is what I'm using right now. And this feature is essential for anyone that has already a solar system and don't want to mess with the wiring that was done. So the only thing that we need as a requirement is to place in this inverter near our main circuit breaker of our house and then the battery will be near. And as you saw on one of my last videos, fortunately I have the garage just next to the main circuit breaker. So that's where I did install the inverter and the battery. Now for most people, solar energy is injected through any available outlet rather than being wired directly to the main panel, especially in older constructions. Now, in my case, even though I have multiple inverters and micro inverters, my system is centralized in the main panel. And I initially planned to use the gen port to inject my solar energy into the day inverter. But I had read rumors about the AC coupling that might work. Now, honestly, it's really difficult to find information about this inverter. The manuals that are online lack a lot of information, in my opinion, and it was not clear if I could use the AC coupling. So my plan A was to use the Gen port, but if I could use the B plan, which is to use the AC coupling automatic mode, then I don't need to route my wires, which is just from one wall to the other, but I would save that hassle. And fortunately, that was the case. So I did run a single power cable to fin the inverter. And before I routed my solar production cables, I did run a few tests. And yes, it did redirect the excess energy from my solar inverters to the the battery. That was really great and it worked perfectly and I was so happy and I still am so happy because it did work the way that I was thinking. As I said, plan A was to use the gen port where it will detect energy coming in, but this way the AC coupling automatic mode is wow. So it did simplify the installation process and anyone with solar panels plugged into any outlet on the home 
can add a battery with this inverter, which is great. So if you remember the Excess Energy Manager product that we shared a few years ago, it works exactly the same way, but in a bigger way. The D detects the surplus energy and sends it to my 15 kilowatt battery that I did share on my last video, and there's no energy wasted, and I'm not selling almost any energy to the grid. Last few days I did sell about three or four kilowatts so that you have an idea I do sell at five cents per kilowatt and I do purchase at 18 cents per kilowatt so it's a huge difference regarding the app although they has a nice app it's not nice enough it's one of the downsides in my opinion it's weak no real-time monitoring although you can see here the battery and the grid and whatnot it's not real time it has a delay of about five minutes or so which for me it's a deal breaker now if i want to use any of these stored data that will be fine but to use it in real time i use Weeb and Shelly. Now Weeby is expensive but it's really awesome and Shelly AM which I will try to leave links down below it's very affordable and amazing for real-time monitoring and also data storage. Actually both Weeby and Shelly in terms of measurements and the accuracy they are on top and we have done a lot of tests this is not based on one day or two days this is based in years of testing and a lot of things that i can put them side by side with my bill that comes from the provider of electricity and they are on spot they miss about one or two kilowatts when we have a consumption of about 800 or 700 kilowatt hour which is a massive amount of energy so really accurate the advantage on the shelly side is that besides having the energy consumption monitoring they also have a lot of smart things like lights and switches and whatnot so we can centralize everything on our app and have everything here but i've shared a lot of videos so it's easy to find them on my channel and of course as always i will be sharing more details with you about the battery about the inverter about the ways that i do measure about the calculations if it's worth it to get a battery and an inverter especially because this battery costs 2350 euros for a 15 kilowatt battery capacity which is just awesome but in the meantime if you want to watch some more technical videos they are available at solar fossil website and also on their youtube channel so there will be some links down below that you can check out and see more so you don't need to wait a few more days or a few more weeks for more info that i will be sharing not so technical as those that you will find there but my own experience with this hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Huerto george and as always i'll see you on the next one